Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I look tired again. Dude, I told you I got this new makeup because Wait. I left my makeup at the office. Look at how, look at how, like pristine my face looks right now. I love it. All right. I'm gonna share with you some so that you can cover the bags a little bit. Nah, nah, it's just my face. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. I'll just roll like that from now on. For Christmas, I'm gonna get you a stocking full of gel hydrating under the eye mask things like we did last week. Excellent. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Hey, Brad. Ooh, first again, Brad. Ooh, Brad with the first chime in. Liking it. Yeah. All right. So we've got a, a we're, we're really, it's a softball show today. Yes. We're just, we're phoning it in today. Um, we were supposed to have the builder today. I'm sorry <laughs> yeah, to disappoint you guys. Yeah, the builder has to go through corporate approval and all this kind of stuff. It's gonna be like and we're going to try to do some stuff on appraisals for next week, I think, unless sure. the builder gets approved. So yep. well, uh, next week we'll do some cool appraisal type stuff. And this week we've got, we still have a decent show for you, but this is going to be a show for all you, all you rookies out there and some of you veterans, how to prepare or help your seller prepare their house for the listing. Before we start, I want to say number one might be for the veterans. Number one <laughs> might be for the veterans. That's right. That's right. Spoiler alert. Number one is going to ruffle some feathers. All right. So moving right along. Okay. I feel like we don't have enough room in here. Yeah, we don't. Here, scoot over. There we go. No way. You hit my arm last time. It still hurts. Oops, sorry. Okay, so number five, getting right down to it. Prep your sellers on how showings are going to go. All right, prep your sellers on that. Hey, Pete. Let them know how, let them know how showings are going to be. Let them know, you know, you might want to get them set up on the showing time thing. And by the way, here's a bonus one. If you're not using showing time, it, you irritate everybody. Yes. Just so you know. Yes. Yeah, it's it, it, and you know what? Quite frankly, I'd almost say it's almost a disservice to your sellers. Yeah, because the sellers should be able to approve, decline their showings, see all the feedback that comes in immediately. Why are you hiding that stuff? Well, plus it makes it hard. What's up, Jessica? What's up, Pete? You know, it's it's hard to if you're scheduling five houses yeah. and four of them are all with showing time, and then there's one outlier that's not using showing time. It's obnoxious. Yeah, it takes you like 10 times as long to schedule your showings. Yep, so, and you know those agents that are doing that? You know who you are. Yep. You know you don't answer your phone. Oh, yeah, a lot of the time. <laughs> Ooh, it's a, it's a salty show today, it is. I just don't like it. I don't like it either. Okay, so yeah. I agree. So, so you're showing, oh, look like my hair is in my, it's a vent back there. Okay, so you showing time. Um, it's included your, with the membership, right? It's included. You, that. you don't even have to pay extra for it. It's yeah. a free service. Not free. It's included it's in our included membership. It's included with our membership. So yeah. just you showing time. Just do it. For, for the love of God, just do it. Shout out to my paratrooper brothers. Oh, with your coffee. I didn't get that for a second. His coffee cup. His second airborne division? Yep. All right. So moving on, we're going to go to number four. That's our next one that we always do. We always work counter numerically. Yeah. Counter, is that a word? I just made it up right now. It <laughs> okay. is now. Counter numerically, <laughs> Wikipedia. Someone put it in there for me. Okay, curb appeal. You know, you almost don't have to do this right now with how strong our market is right now, but you really but probably you should. Yeah, but you, you do. Yeah. What's yeah. up, mom? Hey, Mom's mom. Mom's on. What's up, mother? Um, so yeah, curb appeal. You know what? I, I if, if a house could use a little freshening up, you know, recommend that they get um, get a landscaper just to do like a once over. A lot of times they'll charge them, you know, a hundred bucks or something like that. They'll cut it, they'll edge it, they'll weed whack, they'll, uh, you know, trim the bushes and the hedges and all that kind of good stuff. And it really will just make the house look a lot better, well taken care of, well manicured. And, and a good, well manicured house is one that's cared for and loved. And that's something that buyers want to buy. Oh gosh, he's still talking. Sorry. 80%. <laughs> I did feel like that was a good monologue there. That was a long time. 80% of people do not edge their yard. They don't trim their bushes on a regular basis, all that other stuff. So for your pictures, you definitely want to make sure the landscaping is good because if the house is pristine on the inside, but it's like, you know, trash on the outside, nobody's going to want it. That's right. That's right. So clean it up, clean it up inside and out, of course. Um, number three, this is our most controversial one in the whole list. No, not really. Oh, I think that's it's true. number one. Yeah. I think it's number one. Have the tough conversations with your seller. Okay, if the house smells like smoke, don't be don't be a wimp and say, well, yes. maybe you should get an air freshener in here. No, say, listen, the house smells very strong of, of tobacco or 
uh, pets, you know, like a lot of people get used to it. rolling down the walls <laughs> and you're like, um, well, yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, don't don't sugarcoat it. They didn't no. hire you to be their friend. You know, they hired you to help them get their house sold. So tell them the truth and it's going to help them, you know. Tell them, I, I've told sellers, hey, listen, you start smoking in the garage temporarily until this house is sold. I don't care if it's zero degrees out in the winter. Yep. Go do it. I mean, you hired me to, and, and of course, no one has to listen to us, you know. No. But I tell them if you want to sell the house, they, everyone wants top of the market for the house. If That's you want right. top of the market, you have to show top of the market. I just had this recently with a seller. Um, we're not quite closed yet, but they had like carpet in their master bedroom and it smelled like dog. And I love these people. They're past clients. And I had to be like, eek, guys, like it smells like dog. But I just had to rip the Band-Aid off. Like there's no good way to like sugarcoat that. Yeah. Like you just have to say it. Like there, there is no, there is no nice ish way to say that without hurting somebody's feelings yeah. most of the time yeah so you're talking dog cats smoke what else um well yeah mainly just pets Team and smoke. BO? oh i, I will know. say this too some people um you know they have those remember those tabletop fry fry baskets yes yes and some ethnic foods yeah. some ethnic foods have a really strong smell to them yeah um you know and just again if you live in that scenario and you're and you're used to it, it's not a big deal. But your or I'm sorry, your client is used to it. It's not a big deal to them. Um, but you might want to just remind them. Oh, by the way, you know there's a strong odor of X Y Z. You know I, I recommend that you get the carpets professionally cleaned. If it's really bad tobacco, sometimes you have to. Um, sometimes some you have kills to. Kills on that man. Yeah, yeah repaint and stuff repaint like that. It. Ask the seller not to smoke in the house anymore. You know that kind of stuff. And if at all, it cannot be avoided. Ask the seller if it's okay if you post a comment in Agent Olay remarks like, you know, house has a strong tobacco smell or something like that. Um, especially if someone's really allergic to animals, sometimes yeah. that helps too. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. She likes my hair. <laughs> um, I was distracted, though, because there was some rando lady walking through Craig's backyard while we were talking. It's a condo. That's with a part dog. Of her. <laughs> she has a 93% interest in that yard, so she's walking. Yeah, that's my neighbor. Yeah. You guys didn't see her, but it's that fine. That was funny. Yeah. Okay, um, so... So that's good. My mom said she, she had a giant palmetto bug drop from the light fixture oh, onto her presentation. Oh, bugs. That would Ooh, be another one. a palmetto one. bug. And I think that's a fancy way to say cockroach, I think. Like, Is it really? Well, I think they look similar to cockroaches, right, Mom? I thought they did. But they're not. I mean, they're palmetto bugs. It's mm. a thing. Yeah, bugs would be fleas. Fleas? fleas bugs? Oh, if they yeah. have fleas and stuff, yeah, mm. yeah. I tell them, you know what? You got to get this cleaned out before we even show it. Yeah. Um, thanks, Mom. Oh, thanks, Kathy. She was talking to me, not you, dude. I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure she was talking I'm to me. I'm pretty sure she was talking about me. Kathy, me or Craig? Me or Craig? See? See? Thank yes, you. Me. She was See? talking to me. I said, I think she was talking about me, and she said, yes. Thank you, Mom. Say Nicole, Thank Kathy. you, Mom. Say Nicole. Okay, moving on. Number two, declutter the house. You know, sometimes people have a lot of stuff in their house. If yes. they're really going to sell the house and move, they need to get rid of a lot of it. A lot. Yeah. Like, get a storage unit. Get it out of here. I try to tell people to take... Um, Some sellers have mommy goggles. That's right, Gina. <laughs> What's mommy goggles? Like they, like it's their kid. You know, like maybe there's a. I'm assuming this, Gina. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But like, you know, they have all their toys out, and uh, you know, everything's yeah, like yeah. they're somewhat organized, but they're all just lined up next to each other in the in the living room or something oh, yeah. like that. That's my house. It's yeah. everywhere. I, yeah. I don't have mommy goggles though. I know it's a hot mess. So I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, what were we talking about? You were talking about decluttering. Oh getting yeah, getting rid of stuff. Like I tell people all the time. Take down all your personal pictures, clear your countertops. I mean, it's hard. Like, you got to make it look like nobody lives there. That's kind of what people want to see because they want to be able to imagine what they can do with the house. So, yeah, if you go walk through one of the larger new construction companies around here, they always stage the houses, you know, their models, and they stage them with kind of neutral furniture and just giving the, the buyer an idea of what the place could look like. Right. I think that's a good move. I'm not necessarily a believer in remove all your family photos and do all that kind of nonsense. I don't think you have, I mean, if it's, if your house is overly decorated, then I would say, yeah, try to, try to, um, cut it down a little bit, but I'm, I don't really think that's going to kill a sale or anything. Just having See, some family portraits out and the stuff. The reason why I do it is because immediately, what does the buyer do? They go to the family photo and they say, oh, this family has three kids or it looks like grandparents live here or whatever. And instead of focusing on the house, they're focusing on the seller of the home. And I've had sellers do it too, where I give them that advice, they have to take it all down, and then we go to see a house, and then they just start laughing because they did it immediately because somebody didn't take their personal stuff down. Yeah. So I feel like 
in my opinion, it helps with negotiation because then the buyer has zero clue of who lives in the house. And I feel like that gives everything a clean slate. Okay. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I can, uh, I can agree with that, I guess, but uh, I still don't. Really? I still don't really recommend that everyone get rid of all that stuff. But definitely, um, you know, if you know you're not taking some stuff with you to the next house, get rid of it now. Yeah. Yeah. Start sorting through it because nobody wants to move something that they're not going to use for sure. Get a dumpster, man. Just, yeah. Just Especially in this hot market where it's like you know it's it's a hot market. Uh, everything is selling if it's priced anywhere near the correct ballpark. So yeah. it's like you know you're going to sell that house. So get your stuff. Yeah. Move out. Okay. Right. Number one, this is the one that Nicole is going to just make everyone mad. All you veterans out there that's using your old phones to take photos of houses, hire a photographer or take professional photos. Yes. I don't no. want to see your your window from your car and your mirror. Oh, I love when you see the side mirror yes, too. Like, like, like I don't you couldn't see even that. get out of the car and take a front shot. Like, and I just want to be like, why did you hire that person? Spend a yeah. hundred dollars. And get professional photos. It's not that hard. Even in this market, you should still be getting professional photos because it's going to drive the most buyers to your listing. We all know how that is. Yeah, and the, and the World Wide Web is uh, a great place for people to look at photos, and apparently people are doing that nowadays. Yes, so, Grandpa. So, yeah. So, yeah. The www.lookatmyhouse.org, you can see all these houses. That's not really a website. Uh -huh. Not exactly correct. It means the mothers believe our children are perfect. We don't see their improv. Ah, okay, okay. Well, that That's doesn't work me. for dads. Yeah. <laughs> but dads have dad hearing. I can't hear my kids crying. I don't even uh. know. Yeah. I, I don't even hear them. Yeah. And we can shut it off to a certain extent, but there's different levels of women. What, now there's a pickup truck driving <laughs> back here. That's, that's her husband. In the yard? That's her husband. They're putting a new deck next door. Oh my gosh. They're putting a nice deck. Anyway, stop. Be professional, okay? I am. What are, you're breaking the fourth wall. It's just like, <laughs> I can see it. There's a pickup truck driving through his driveway now. Or his backyard now. Um, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Go professional ahead. Photos. You've been talking this whole time anyway. Professional photos. Just yeah, I'm, bring it, bring it home, bring yeah. it home, Hanson. Oh, I know that's a lot of pressure. Um, professional photos, just do it. Spend the hundred dollars. You need to spend some money marketing your sellers. You can't just think like I think it's one hundred twenty-five. Whatever. You can't just think that you're just gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get a house and I'm not gonna do any work for it. Minimum, do professional photos. Come on, man, give me a break. I think so. I remember we were on the forefront years ago at a previous company where if you didn't have seven photos, we wouldn't let we wouldn't we wouldn't. Um, Put, Whatever, put, put it on the MLS. Up. Yeah, you had to at least have seven photos. Back when I first got started in this area, you just usually had one front shot of the house. That was it. Get out, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Everybody searches on the web now. That's how tech has changed so much just in the last even 10 years. Yeah. From when I started and have now gotten here. I mean, we do professional photos with every listing. Like, I feel like it's a minimum, and I'm super picky about those photos. Shout out to Holly Jamison, who does the photos. However, um, you know, you got to have the flow right. You got to have this right. Because people are either, you know, they have a 10 second attention span. They go through the first three pictures. They don't like it. They're going to move on to the next house. And that's yeah. just the way it is. Yeah, definitely. So. All right. So I think that might be, that might be the show today. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. I think, we, I think we nailed it again. Another great show. Nicole and Craig show. <laughs> Craig's tired eyes. Oh my Last gosh. Week. We have so much surprises coming for you guys because... I'm having my assistant work on doing like an intro for us and stuff and we're dying. Like it's so good. It's the, so the good. The intro looked really cool. The intro is so How much fun. How can we fun. do the intro when you go live though? I don't know. We're yeah, going to have neither. to figure it out. I don't, maybe Gabby knows. I don't know. Yeah. So. I'm surprised we've been going live this whole time and neither one of us really said anything that bad that would get us to never go live again. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mainly mean me on that. Nicole's pretty we're, professional all the time. I was going to say, we're professionals at this live show now. You That's know? right. It's been over two years now. I know. Yeah. That's what I mean. Great show. We love it. It's fun. Right, and we guys, love you guys. Yeah, that's for sure. Everybody who watches us faithfully every week, we love it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. If you want any other topics done, like I said, I think we're going to do, we're going to work on an appraisal questions show next. Uh, also, we've got a like a builder that we're going to be doing a show with, so yep. we're pretty excited about it. So, if you uh, anyway, thanks for watching. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. You could hit finish there, dude. Yeah. I